Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> what is up my lumpias? It's Vanessa Tilnerova and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have seen this video floating around YouTube and I am very excited to be doing this for you. And I wanted to do is a massive grocery haul, you know, kind of like those aesthetic Ooh, this is what I'm eating to be healthy. Because it's crunch time. The wedding is coming up in less than two months now. Oh Lord. We need to stop ordering takeout. It's expensive. I can't afford this. I have to pay for a wedding. Basically, our fridge is empty. I've been dying to go grocery shopping for a long time. It hates doing that. It's just not a thing. I personally love grocery shopping. I find it very therapeutic in a way. So I have my phone grocery list. Car. I have money. So it is 8 a.m. right now. And we're gonna go do some grocery shopping and I'll show you guys what I got. I'm also going earlier in the morning because I find it even more therapeutic when there's no one there. I haven't gone grocery shopping on the weekends since we moved here, obviously with COVID and everything. So I actually have really grown to loving grocery shopping during the week and during the day. Okay, so here's my OOTD. Okay, obviously I'm not wearing these sandals, but anyway. I never do this, but I thought in good old traditions of other YouTubers that when they go out, they show what they're wearing. I personally, I look like a bum right now, like because I'm gonna wear a winter coat over this anyway, so it doesn't really matter how I look. But I wanna be warm and comfy. So I'm wearing Adidas jogging pants. I'm gonna be wearing some Nike running shoes and a sweater that covers my neck, keeps it warm. Uh, hair's a mess, makeup. I did my brows and my eyes and my foundation that I put on my nose. Like that's pretty much the look because I have the mask on anyway. So very minimal. This is the realistic lockdown look. So this is uh, real life for ya. Unfortunately, I will not be able to take you guys with me grocery shopping. And that is because I'm not comfortable yet at that level to be vlogging alone. I know it takes time for you to be comfortable to vlog in public. Maybe one day I will get there, but that will not be today. I will see you guys when I get back and I'm very excited to show you what I got. Okay, just got back. Let's bring everything in. So my grocery store that I go to is Fortino's. It's not like the most expensive grocery store. It's in the middle. Let's go through the bags. Let's make some space. Ooh, perfect. This is a perfect place. Ooh, I'm hot. Okay, the first thing I got, chicken breast fillets, like the breaded ones. Yes, you can bread your own chicken, but at the same time, it's just easier. We just pop it in the oven. Let's put this right here. The next thing is falafels. Falafels are, I think, so healthy. They're made out of chickpeas, and it's so good with hummus. So. We also got thinless, boneless chicken breast. So, got those. Let's try and put it all pretty. Don't fall. I got baked scalloped potatoes. These are already made, so you basically just put this in the microwave. I know, it's so lazy. I've made scalloped potatoes from scratch before. It took me three hours to make them. Don't get me wrong, it was delicious, but it was so much effort because you had to cut the potato, like, this is my favorite pizza of all time. It's the Ristorante pizza. I get the mushroom one. That's my favorite. Mitch hates mushrooms. So I got him a pepperoni one. It's always just good to have a frozen pizza in the freezer. And this is like the most delicious pizza. I don't know what it is. It's delicious. They have a spinach one too, which is really good. But the mushroom one is definitely my favorite. It's thin crust too. If you haven't had these, you got to. They are so good. I'll stand these up pretty later. I got some romaine lettuce to make some salads. I got these sweet Lorenz cookies. I decided to try this because I love cookies. Like I love Chunks Ahoy, they're my definite favorites, but they're definitely not healthy for you. Mind you, these aren't the healthiest either, but they are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and peanut nut free and nut free. Perfect for me, because I'm allergic to nuts, and they are actually really delicious. When you bake them, they're like crispy, you know? Like I love really crispy cookies. You can make them soft too, but they're so good. So I got two packs of those. Next thing I got, this wasn't on my list, but I saw these and I'm like, I wanna try these. If you've been to Red Lobster, you know the cheddar biscuits. I love them so much. Like I could eat like three baskets by myself. They're so good. So they have the mix. I'm like, well, why don't I try making them at home? So I got hummus. I was looking for this all over the store and it was for garlic aioli. Like they have garlic mayo. Is aioli and mayo the same thing? 
Well, anyway, I was looking for the word aioli specifically, so I found this one. It's like a classic aioli. It says whipped dressing made with garlic and Dijon mustard. I don't know, it sounded good. I'm gonna try it. I got some turkey bacon. I eat regular bacon, but I grew up eating turkey bacon and I love it and it's healthier too. So I got the salt reduced one. I also got frozen berries. I got frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries because Mitch loves to have smoothies. I'm not a smoothie person, but he is. So I got this so we can make him some smoothies. I also got garlic bread. Whenever I do make pasta on the rare occasion that I make pasta, it's always just good with garlic bread. I also got some hot dogs. I got, I wanted chicken hot dogs and this is the only brand I saw. When I do make Mitch omelets, he loves them with hot dogs in it, so that's why I got these. I also got some croissants. They're mainly for Mitch, because Mitch loves to have croissants. I got some light rye bread. I got a pack of kiwis. I love having kiwis in the morning, like with a spoon. It's a good snack or even a good breakfast to have. I got some eggs for omelets, for baking, for whatever. I got some mini peppers. I got some mini red onions. I also got some pack of uh, multicolored tomatoes. One cucumber. I also got some bananas. Two avocados. We got some milk, 1% for my iced coffees. I can finally start making them and stop spending my money buying Starbucks because it is expensive and I do not budget Starbucks into my budget. So I got some peach yogurt for my yogurt and granola. And I got some plain yogurt for Mitch's smoothies. The last thing I got is I got some orange juice, uh, again, for the smoothies and Mitch loves to drink it in the mornings. Yeah, that's it, that's what I got. And overall for all this, this is like $200 worth of groceries. Now I'm gonna make it all aesthetically pleasing and pretty for shop thumbnail, and then I need to put it in the fridge. Let's do that. Quick. Here's the haul done all pretty. I had to put some on this chair because there's no more space and you can't see everything. So hopefully that will do a nice picture. Ready to see the fridge? This is before. Like I have nothing in here. I need to throw out that soup. That's old miso soup from when I ordered sushi. And there's literally just drinks and sauces in here. Yeah, I need to tidy this up and redo this. You should clean out your fridge every week or so, because when you think about it, it's kind of gross. <laughs> like, and I mean like clean as in like wipe everything down, get rid of stuff that's old. Yeah, I need to do that, so let's clean quick. I have some of the groceries here. So you're gonna package them aesthetically for the fridge. I also have uh, this that I need to fill with granola. This is the granola I always get. It's made good. Chocolate chip granola, and I love it. It has no nut, no wheat or gluten, no soy, no dairy, no egg, no sesame, and no fish and shellfish. Well, there better be no shellfish in this. That's kind of uh, strange. But yeah, so I need to fill it up. I didn't buy this in the grocery haul because I have a full bag here. For the aesthetic, let's put this in there too. Why not? So first of all, I have some lemons. They have been in the fridge for a long time. We're gonna throw in the compost. I have this, I got it off Amazon, but it's like a Lazy Susan, but there's dividers in it. You can use it for snacks and stuff, but I have it in the fridge, so I'm gonna put my avocados in there. Nope, nope. Let's put some tomatoes in there. So, so we can recycle those. Since we have bananas, we're gonna put the bananas here and have this sitting on the countertop. Do you keep kiwis in the fridge? I don't know, I don't know if you do. Oh, why not, let's put them in the fridge. I don't think you really need to, I usually keep them in the container, but because we have bananas, whatever, why not? It'll look aesthetically pleasing in the fridge, you know, with my little container here. So I'm finally utilizing this, so I got this egg organizer, because I usually get egg whites, so now that I actually have eggs, I can put them in. Usually people get this from the container store or Amazon. Uh, guys, I got this from Dollarama. I got it for $3, Canadian. Check your dollar store before going on Amazon and spending that moolah, you know? You could uh, save your money. Let's put them in. I've never used these before, ooh. They roll around a bit. These are for like extra large eggs. Apparently, this looks so satisfying once they're in there. So we'll see about that, I don't know. Put this on top. <laughs> cute, it does look cute actually. So that's done. 
done. And then this is done. Look at that, so organized. So the last thing now is to fill the cereal dispenser. So if you didn't see my last video, showed some lockdown favorites that I love and utilize all the time, and this is definitely one of them. This dispenses your cereals. If you use different cereals, Mitch eats cereal, I don't, so this is for him, and this one's for me, which is granola that I put um, into my yogurt. So I need to fill it. Yeah, you just take the top off and. I should have got more granola. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. The grocery store is not far, so I can always just uh, go get more. Here's everything. It looks all aesthetically pleasing. So, wait. One more thing. I have peppers. I can put that in here. So we're gonna put all the kiwis together. Stay. Okay. This makes it look so pretty. This is a lot of peppers. <laughs> now, looking at it, I'm like, a lot. We're done! Here we go, so now this is done. So here are the red and orange peppers, two avocados, the kiwis, and the tomatoes. So there we go. Now we are done with the aesthetic vibe. It really utilizes the separation in this Lazy Susan container. But yeah, no, like this looks amazing. And uh, now I'm excited to decorate the fridge. But you put everything away and let's do that. Okay, so we're all done. So let's take a look at the freezer. Not much has really changed. I just added things. <laughs> so the garlic bread's up there. The fruit, there wasn't really that much room. So I put them in here. The chicken, the falafels, the pizza, all there. So there's that. And in terms of the fridge, oh, other than the sauces, like let's look at everything else. It's pretty nice. So this is like packaged sauces that we got from takeouts and stuff. There's butter up in here. These are again, are some sauces, juice, the milk, and then here. So we have energy drinks and also any ciders are in here. And we have beer. We have some pop that we got again from like takeout meals. Here is that aesthetically pleasing peppers, avocados, kiwis, and tomatoes. So that's nice. I moved this shelf up a bit so it's easier to access that. So um, yep, uh, down here we have like the turkey bacon and the chicken hot dogs. We have our romaine lettuce our aesthetically pleasing eggs here. We have the stout potatoes, the hummus. Here I keep all my cheeses as well as I put the baked cookies in there for baking. Up here um, from my leftovers here are the yogurts and again some more beer. And I have some bubbly water. And you take it out as you can see. It, rolls everything down so that's like a very aesthetically pleasing way for that. That's the fridge. It's nice to see it nice and full again because it was really getting a little empty. It looks so much better. And that concludes my little grocery haul and how I kind of like try to put things away in a nicer way. I hope you enjoyed it. This is something really simple but you know, at the same time, during these times, honestly, the most simple things are the most fun, especially grocery shopping. I find it very therapeutic and even putting it away, it made it very therapeutic to just like clean out the fridge and get rid of all the old stuff and put the new stuff in. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe down below by clicking that subscribe button as I post every single Monday. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.